बोलो Behind the scenes is is really what makes athletes, uh, you know, work really hard. Because uh, it's not just about game day; it's about how much effort you put in in your training, in your practice, uh, in your conditioning, strength, agility. Behind the scenes, it's all the effort that goes on behind the scenes, and all culminates into game day. Uh, so, having said that, uh, Adidas has now designed a shoe which is essentially to help athletes. Train for their sport. All right, uh, it's a, it's a running shoe that is designed for athletes to run their game. All right, so uh, footwear, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me. Footwear is probably the most important tool for, or one of the most important tool after the cricket bat uh, for athletes, right? And um, they use their footwear, and it's but but it's not just the cricket spike or the football stud or the indoor shoe that you use. Because athletes don't really train in these uh, shoes all the time. They use them during game day, but when they train, they need a shoe that is uh, kind of an all-rounder. Like you know, in, in cricket, you have an all-rounder. You have a, you need a shoe that's an all-rounder because you need a shoe that's that's good in running. You need a shoe that's good for stability when you're doing uh, conditioning drills, when you're doing strength and uh, flexibility exercises. You need a, a, a shoe that gives you cushioning when you're doing your agility drills. So we we here for the launch of the Alpha Bounce Beyond. All right, this. Wonderful shoe, and I'm going to pick it up right now. This shoe is designed for athletes to train for their sport. It's a running shoe, uh, which helps people uh, use their running as a means of training for their sport. Okay, so this is the Alpha Bounce Beyond. Um, so, so coming back to uh, you know these athletes, and it's good to hear from them as to what is it that they do when they train for their sport because we have elite athletes over here who kind of uh, epitomize the highest level of sporting uh, brilliance that we have. So I'm going to start off with Rohit. Um, just let us know what is your training routine. What are those hours and hours of training and conditioning that you do that gets you match ready for your for your match? Uh, see, uh, since uh, you know we uh, as a cricketer we are most of the time on on the road. Uh, Playing from one country to another, we have to manage our body really well. Um, and that includes so many things, uh, from your training programs to your recovery programs. Uh, because what you do on the field is one thing, and what you do off the field is another thing, and both have to complement each other uh, for you to be, uh, you know, uh, performing at the highest level. So I think, uh, luckily for us, we've got uh, good sets of uh, trainers, physios working with us. And uh, yeah, they, they work day in, 
been out with us uh, to make sure that we are game ready. And it's at the end of the day, it's on the, on, on an individual, you know, how he uh, manages uh, everything that has been given to him. Uh, after a certain point, it is all about discipline. You know, uh, programs have been laid out. Everything has been given to you. It's all about going there and executing it. Uh, so for us, as any cricketer, any sportsman, I would say, not just cricketer, but any sportsman, uh, training is is utmost important and it holds high regards in my books for sure. Uh, certainly because the amount of uh, Sport we play these days just to make sure that you lead a healthy lifestyle uh, on and off the field and it is important to carry yourself well and fitness is now become a lifestyle, it's become a part of our life uh, so I'm sure these two will agree uh, with me on this so yeah I mean I, like I said at the end of the day you know it's not individual and we are only here to uh, raise awareness about fitness uh, and uh, uh, you know the importance of fitness in, in one's life. Thanks, Rohit. I think fitness has become a part of our lives. It's not no 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 longer a choice that you have to make. It's almost ingrained in our lives. Uh, Karan, uh, is running a big part of your conditioning? Do you do a lot of uh, endurance running, or I, I see from your smile that uh, you're going to give me an answer which I don't want to hear? <laughs> oh, recently, yes. yes. Um, you know, before a little bit younger. You know, take, you know, you take a lot of things for granted. Um, you know, you take age on your side, you, you get up and you just go and you do things that you don't think you can do. But now, age on the other side, you know, getting on the other side of the city and stuff like that, you know, you have to be put into work. You know, as Ray said, you know, training becomes part of your daily routine. And endurance is very important as well um, in order to sustain for long periods. But I, can, I, can, I can't speak for myself in terms of long periods as I pay T20s, but, you know, for the best guys and you know, 50 over cricket and stuff like that, you know, you need that sort of endurance training from before. So, you know, it has come part and parcel of, of our training regime and like I said as individuals, it, it helps you physically, it helps you mentally, you know. You have a better day, you start off a day, you know, training, you know, you have a better day all throughout. So, again, it's very important and again, we get to raise the awareness of that fitness and of course the endurance, you know, of, of helping the body going forward. So good. So Karen is on the record said so that running is part of his uh, training. So that's great. Uh, Saimi, you are a runner by yourself. You you run a marathon. You've run the Mumbai and half marathon. So apart from running and training for running, what other training uh, um, exercises do you do? And uh, I mean, what's your what's your schedule like? So sport and running has been an integral part of my life ever since I was very young. Uh, I'm a not a pro athlete like both of them, but it just feels very good to sit in between two athletes who are pro athletes. Um, I did a film called Mirzia last year and I've gone on Kapil Sharma's show and I happened to play cricket with Sidhu and got him out. So I think more people saw me doing that than saw my film. So sport has always been very special for me. Uh, so besides running, training for running, I do a lot of functional training. I don't really like going to the gym so much, so I do body weight training. I play badminton every week, I play cricket, that's something I really enjoy playing, so that's something which is a part of my routine. So I like to involve a lot of sport in my training, that's what makes it fun and that's what I enjoy doing. That's, that's great, so you, you have two athletes here who uh, run for their sport and you have an athlete there who plays sport for her running, so it's like a, you know, a good mix of things to have. So good, so uh, the Alpha Bounce Beyond is a shoe that actually helps people or helps athletes train for their sport. It's got a bounce midsole which helps you, gives you that cushioning. Uh, it's got a, a forged mesh on top. Uh, this is one of the few shoes, a few running shoes which has a very uh, broad forefoot because Indians have a, a, you know, a wide feet and there's a lot of lateral movement when you do uh, conditioning drills and when you do uh, work in the gym. So this kind of really gives you that, uh, that comfort and that fit that you need uh, when you're doing a lot of uh, you know, long workouts and, and conditioning in the gym. So uh, that, that's about the shoe. Um, given that we're talking about footwear, how important is uh, footwear when you uh, when you do your training for your thing? I know you wear your cricket spikes when you play, but what kind of uh, how important is footwear when you when you train for your sport? Like I mentioned, uh, what we do on the field uh, with, with our, in terms of our skills is is, is is another thing, and what we do outside the field in terms of fitness and uh, making sure that we are ready for the game. Is another thing. So uh, all the training gear that we use is is very very important. Only because to make sure that it gives you enough comfort and uh, it 
gives you that uh, stability. I think the alpha bounce is something that is very interesting. Uh, you know, it gives you uh, as an individual, as an athlete, to go out there and do those short bursts. You know, which we call like people. There are people who don't like to go for uh, long running, like you know, five k's and ten k's and things like that. But you know, people who want to do agility training and uh, quick training, uh, short and sharp bursts. This is the perfect one. Uh, you know, I've tried it myself. You know, I, I found uh, as you know, I uh, wore it, I tried it. I found massive difference. So I think that is something uh, that really uh, impresses me. And uh, you know, going forward as well, I'm going to use more and more of those because I'm someone who like to do uh, you know short and sharp bursts because on the field when you're playing, especially limited overs cricket. Uh, you need to be agile, you need to be quick on your feet and uh, ready to respond to the opposition. So I think uh, that, that is something which will help me, uh, you know, uh, take my game forward. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Roy. Uh, Karen, when you do uh, agility drills, when you do uh, um, endurance training, do you actually use the same footwear or do you actually sh uh, change your footwear when you do different types of uh, drills in the gym? No, well, you know, basically you try to use the same because for comfort. Uh, but I said on the field it's different because you use spikes off the field, you know, you use something obviously like the sneakers and now the alpha box, yeah. you know, so it can help you, you know, up your game in terms of your training. So, you know, it, it helps you to, you know, perform better in the in the long run. So, you know, footwear obviously is very important, you know, the shoes are something that you wear more often than not. Yes, you're better cricket and you get stuff like that, but you're on your feet most of the time. So you need to um, actually be comfortable and I think this new alpha bomb I said with the broad feet as well. Yeah. I think it's it's helpful for me. You know, because that's the sort of feet that, <laughs> that I have and you know with a short burst, T twenty cricket, short burst, what more do you want? Yeah. True. And and you're wearing it almost like a fashion sneaker. It looks good on you, huh? <laughs> uh so I mean you play batty, you play cricket. So uh, how important is footwear when you when you play these sports and when you run? I think footwear is extremely important because when I ran the marathon, I wasn't aware of how important it is and I lost my toenail. So after I ran the full marathon, I wasn't running in correct shoes and then obviously I, I studied about it and I realized how important it is. And I can see how much of a difference it makes because you keep evolving with different shoes every time you change your running style or you change uh, you know, your speed. So the ultra bounce is something which I'm really happy about because I have broad feet as well and women generally in India don't get the variety of shoes with broad, uh, like a broad uh, foot. So I'm very, very happy with this shoe and I'm looking forward to training with it. All right, cool. Uh, after you lost your toe, then you signed with Atlas, just to. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, something that you guys also talked about was the fact that you uh, train on the road in hotel rooms and stuff like that. I mean, that can't be easy, right? I mean, there's, uh, well, there's a gym in most hotels, but do you guys train in, in small spaces in, in the comfort of your hotel rooms, or do you like to train in, in the fields and on, in, in, uh, uh, on, in the gyms and the hotels? I mean, you've got to uh, uh, use whatever facilities available to you. Uh, sometimes when you travel, uh, uh, you don't get uh, the facility that you expect. Uh, so you have to be ready for everything uh, as a sportsman. Uh, that is one thing that I've learned in my career that uh, as a sportsman there is no excuses. Uh, whether you're playing or whether you're training or whatever it is. So I think I, I like to take it in my day-to-day -day life uh, you know, and move forward. I think uh, uh, when we spoke about the shoe, uh, you know, like I said, it was it is something that gives you uh, natural a uh, quick burst. Yeah. So that is important. Like in, you know, uh, when we play uh, uh, in places like Australia uh, and uh, maybe in New Zealand as well, we don't get big enough gym, gyms there. So you have to whatever facility is available to you, you have to make use of it. And sometimes we have to train indoors. So uh, indoor facility where we uh, you know do our skills, uh, you know, uh, bowlers bowl, batters bat, and then what you do after that is, you know, you have to field as well, so we, you know, we kind of uh, make use of that place as well, so, I mean, yeah, it is something that you have to take it in your stride and, uh, you know, move forward. Karan, what's the, what's the weirdest place you've ever trained? It has to be a bedroom, huh? Sometimes, you know, it's... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the bedroom. I'm not going to ask about what, what kind of training, but no, 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 no
there's functional stuff you can do. Yes, yes. You know, with little mini bands and you know the foam rollers and stuff like that to get the body loose. You know, rather than you know taking that long trek to the gym. So that would have been one of the weirdest, weirdest places out of training. Nice. So, uh, well, you guys are going to uh, uh, this. I'm going to up the ante, and this is going to be the weirdest place that you're going to train. It's inside an Adidas store. So we've got some uh, challenges for you uh, to do in the new Alpha Bounds that you're wearing. Uh, some functional training just to give everybody an, uh, an idea of what you're supposed to do, right? So, what is it? Uh, 100 burpees, 100 squats, no? <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Why do we do this first, huh? Oh, okay. We're doing it in uh, height, uh, we're doing it in order of height, so. Alright, no problem. So, uh, let's make some space. Uh, guys, if you just have to these uh, chairs. Um, Amit, if you want to let me do these chairs, can we chill out here? Alright, limber up guys, limber up. It's just going to be... Yeah, yeah.
people will roam with us all, don't worry. But, uh, so we heard that the uh, Mumbai Indians were giving a day off, so we decided to uh, train uh, our athletes over here. So, uh, any more exercise this time? No? <laughs> all right, that's it. Uh, so cool, so um, is there anything else we're trying to do? Uh, somebody want to challenge? Uh, Push-ups with Rohit. Uh, so you, you, you show him how to do a push-up, and then, uh oh, then he's, 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 he's pretty much does push-ups on, on his own, no, don't worry about it. कहना तो जो भी था आपने कह दिया यार रस मिलिया हमारी रस मिलिया या एक्सेंट नहीं आई आई होल्ड देखिए आपने देखा हमने जो भी अभी ड्रिल यहाँ पे किया ये शूज को लेकर किया तो बोलने बोलना ये चाह रहा हूँ कि ये शूज में वो सारी चीजें हैं जो एक एथलीट को जरूरत है अपनी गेम को ऊपर लेके जाने के लिए तो आई थिंक ये जो शूज इन्होंने बनाया है ये शूज में वो स्टेबिलिटी है और ये शूज मैराथन और उन रनरों के लिए नहीं है जो पाँच किलो पाँच किलोमीटर दस किलोमीटर मारते जो शॉर्ट और शार्प ट्रेनिंग जो करते हैं उनके लिए जो ड्रिल्स होते हैं छोटे छोटे ड्रिल्स होते हैं क्विक तेज़ी से जो ड्रिल करते हैं ना वो उन, उनके लिए तो अब हम, हमने जो भी पहन के देखा काफ़ी पसंद आया क्योंकि क्रिकेट में अभी लिमिटेड ओवर्स जो मैचेस चल रहे हैं टी मैचेस उसमें आपको तेज़ी से भागना पड़ता है बॉल रोकना पड़ता है बॉल उठ बॉल फेंकना पड़ता है जब बैटिंग कर रहे हो रन भागना पड़ता है तेज़ी से मूव करना पड़ता है तो ये सब चीज़ के लिए हमें ये सब चीज़ ये 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 सारे जूते हेल्प करते हैं तो आई थिंक हमने वो एक्सपीरियंस किया अभी यहाँ पर 
इन दोनों से भी अगर आप पूछोगे तो ये दोनों भी आपको सेम चीज़ बताएंगे मेरे लिए सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है शूज़ का स्टेबिलिटी क्योंकि हमारे हमारे परफॉर्मेंस को ऊपर लेके जाने के लिए आपको शूज़ का क्वालिटी अच्छा चाहिए और अगर आपका शू क्वालिटी अच्छा है तो आप ग्राउंड पे जो भी सारी चीज़ें आपको चाहिए करने के लिए वो आप कर सकते हो तो आई थिंक ये जो भी सारे जूते हम पहनते हैं क्रिकेट के शूज़ और यू नो ये अल्फा बाउंस है तो ये सारे जूते में हमको वो स्टेबिलिटी और वो ग्रिप हमको मिलता है तो हमारे परफॉर्मेंस के लिए अच्छा होता है क्रिकेटर्स के लिए ना क्रिकेटर्स के लिए नहीं सारे स्पोर्ट्समैन के लिए फुटवेयर बहुत ज़रूरी होता है तो फुटवेयर पे सारा फोकस स्पोर्ट्समैन का फुटवेयर पे होता है कि आप किस तरीके से उसको यूज़ करते हो और आपका परफॉर्मेंस अगर आपको ऊपर लेके जाना है तो आप यू you नो know, कैसे मैनेज करोगे तो शूज़ हमारे लिए बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है सॉरी जी Uh, जैसे रोहित और पोला दोनों कह रहे थे इट्स जस्ट शूज इज़ वेरी कंफर्टेबल जो विथ है इसका बहुत ब्रॉड है तो जिन लोगों के बहुत पास ब्रॉड फीट होते हैं उनके लिए इट्स वेरी कंफर्टेबल मैंने पहली बार एक्सपीरियंस किया है शू को आज तो इट वाज एक्सट्रीमली कंफर्टेबल आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू रनिंग इन इट लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ट्रेनिंग इन इट और uh, मेरे लिए एक्चुअली बहुत ही गुड लुकिंग शूज़ है तो मैं मुझे तो बहुत पसंद है क्योंकि दे लुक वेरी वेरी गुड एंड आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू रनिंग इन दैम Say it again. About the launch. Okay. <laughs> um, I think it's great. Um, the new Alpha Bongs. Um, as you said, you know, it's good for agility. It's good for speed. You know, it's very comfortable as well. It helps you again. Us with broad feet. Um, I think that's the most comforting thing about it. So, you know, looking forward to to using it and you know, up in my ante in my training and hopefully it improves you know my performances on and off the field. Roj, dekha jaye to उस पर उस सारे चीज़ों पे हमने बहुत बात कर बात कर चुके हैं तो अभी बात करें कोई मतलब नहीं है जो भी कहना था हमने कह चुके हम कह मैं तो कह चुका हूँ मैंने ट्विटर पे भी डाला था जो भी कहना था तो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू टीवी नेक्स्ट बॉलीवुड